I want to inspire others by acting. Why did a soldier dream fade away? I don't want to die with pain. You don't want to die bullet. with What exactly uh, is there in acting that inspires you? It's like a connection with me, a spiritual one. What exactly is there in acting that is spiritual? When one of my favorite actors act, I feel it that <laughs> I can see in the future that, let's say I can picture that it's me out there. So when you do the crime check, you can see your crime check. You can see your crime check. You can see your crime check. You can see your subscribe. You can see your subscribe. You can see your crime check. 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 Chief Mamunina Akwa Baba Crime Check TV and Yejumadini Shronko Kakra. We are going to interview a 12 year old boy who says he wants to be the best actor in the world. So you ask yourself, why such a huge ambition? So we have brought this young man into the studio to ask him why he sees something special in the acting profession. He's Anas Isa Eduse. You're welcome, young man. Thank you. I hope you are doing well. Yes, please. You want to be an actor? Yes, please. Twelve-year-old boy. Why do you want to become an actor? I want to become an actor because I want to inspire others by acting, not just for money, but to show others they are not lower than any. What exactly uh, is there in acting that inspires you? It's like a connection with me, a spiritual one. What exactly is there in acting that is spiritual? When one of my favorite actors act, I feel it that <laughs> I can see in the future that, let's say I can picture that it's me out there doing something. You told me you've read lots of books. Uh, could it be a reason that may have inspired you? It's one, one of the reasons why um, acting inspired me are because of books too. Books that I've read, story books and other, thing, other books. How many books have you read so far? About 116 books. You've read 116 now. How many books do you intend to read? I want to go on ahead and read more than 116 and reach about 500 books. You've read a lot. What are some of the names of the authors? If I say read? I'm mentioning, or I'll keep you here for a while, but <laughs> I'll say that. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. We have so Jeff start. Kinney, Sean Lighton, Michael Miller. Miller, M I L E R. Said Dion, actually, some French are debut or true. <laughs> At what age did you start reading? I read um, 50, 50 books when I was 10 years old. 50 books? Yes, please. When I was 10 old. years old. And what motivated you? Um, 10 year old boy reading, having read 50 books at that age. What motivated you? Um, as for the I'm asking that because there are, you know, students at the SS level who find it difficult. If it, with the, the, the syllabus, the literature books that they are supposed to read, they're even struggling to read the books. And then you have read, you read 50 books when you were uh, 10 years. Motivation? Uh, when I was 10, I, I was just thinking like that, that I want to become a soldier. I was like, what soldier? I don't think I can make it. Cause Why? Because you are an optimist, you always think, dream. why did a soldier dream fade away? I don't want to die with pain. You don't with want to die? Bullet. With yes, I don't want to die with pain. I want to die of old age, but not the bullets and stuff like that. Mm. Mm. And you think that acting, acting will take you there? Yes. Nakalens Ventures, as I can hold him, and they say we are DHS graduate, SHS graduate, and now say Mpono. University graduate, now to feel you need to be Now we say we are insane, you may be here. And you to make a neighbor Black Lens Ventures. So we say we are professional photographer, videographer, and a digital video editor. Now we be here and say we be picking from our office, I have fifty cities. Our KFC inside Matayeko Pharmacy, dance man. Our teachers, Akuku Dama, what they now what you insane? I bet you are wearing. Black lens be mawa kwenye ne ejuma kwe ni mubi ay ejuma. Enti tutu mika nebe fa forms anasa friend na mesa echa gru screen isui. Aya zero two four two zero seven four two seven six. Anasa zero five nine six three two eight zero zero eight zero three zero two nine six six five four. 
Are you also thinking of maybe eventually becoming a producer, director, instead of being on set? Actually, um, after um, a couple of years of acting, many years of acting, I want to go higher than just acting, being a producer or director of a movie when I go higher. What exactly uh, have, you, have you come across that has pushed you into wanting to become an actor? I'm asking this question over and over again because of the spiritual connection you claim you have and the fact that uh, you have read extensively. What have you uncovered? Um, one of the authors that I've learned from is Jeff Kinney. And he, some of his books, I just, he's not just writing them to get money or anything like that. Um, he's also writing them to inspire others. And one of his story books that he has written is Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I always read that story book because it's one of my favorite story books. So if you re just read a story book, you see that, yeah, this is what it's called a story book. You've made us understand that most of these books are big books. You are 12 years. Doesn't it in a way demotivate you? Children hardly want to read. And then you go in for a big book. Big books, for instance, scare some of us. Why would you devote all your time reading such big books? You can't judge a book by its cover. Because some of the books are small, but have sensible things in it than some of the big books. Um, let's um, look at the local movie industry. The, the, let's, let's narrow it to uh, Ghana. You watch a movie, and then even before the movie begins, you are able to predict the outcome, easily predict the outcome of the movie. You see someone going to a soothsayer and then at the end of the day the person becomes rich and then you know that that, that sort of thing i'm sure you understand what i mean uh do you think that could be a reason why a local movie industry is going down that is why local movies are not being patronized and um, foreign movies can be different because they they're starting or ending or um some parts of the scenes are unpredictable but as for african movies or um, let's say Ghanaian movies or African movies. The certain of the movies are predictable easily, and that's why you have to. They have to pick um, ideas and change them a little bit mm -hmm. from foreign movies without necessarily copying. Yes, please. Okay. Um, if you had a chance to be on set with an actor, many actors you know around the world, which one would you want to uh, act with? To rather be Jason Norman. Who is this Jason Norman? He's one of he's my favorite actor. Mm, what, Norman, what 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 makes him uh, special to you? He adds a little excitement and exaggeration to some of his movies or series that he has acted, and that makes him really special. Who is your favorite actor, African actor or Ghanaian actor? Kojo Nkansalo. What, what what makes him your favorite? Kojo and Kansalo, when he acts extraordinarily in a way that he, in, um, in, a role, in his roles, when they give him the part as an old man, he really acted very well, very specially and very unique. And when they give him a part as, let's say, a young man or a rich person or a poor person, mm. he can really act very well too. You appear to like him a lot. Is it because of his humorous nature? Is it because what exactly is special about him that makes you like him? Kojo um, and Kansal Owen is very funny too. Not only that he just he's just acting, but he's he's really funny and he exaggerates a little bit to give the movie a little suspense and drama. Most parents wouldn't want the idea of their children becoming actors, actresses, and I'm sure what would have been a beautiful career for most children in future has dwindled because their parents did not motivate them. There are so many people who may be looking at you right now, kids. Uh, what do you want to tell them? I... Kids who, 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 whose dreams appear dead because they wanted to throw a particular line, but their parents did not allow them. I want to tell all kids that who want to become actors or actresses that 
don't get your hopes down. But anyone who tells you that you are not going to make it, don't listen to the person. Um, but rather get your hopes up. So you heard him. This is a 12 year old boy. And uh, if you look at the ideas he has put out, um, you don't have to demotivate your child. You don't have to demotivate people who may be young and want to do something to inspire others, to bring changes in society. Usually, parents often relegate to the background uh, the dreams of their children. I'm not, I'm not sure, uh, uh, after listening to this young man, I'm not sure you'd want to uh, brush aside what your child, what your children want to do in future. Just give them the opportunity to highlight, to portray what they want to do. They could be the society changes. They could be the game changes in the world. This is a 12-year-old uh, little boy, little boy. And if you look at the ideas he has put out now, I'm sure it would also inspire you to also want to give your world a chance in life without going along the conservative way of thinking that is polluting the minds of the young, of children that they can never make it because of a certain line they have told. So that is it for you. We come back same time next week. May the peace and blessings of God be on you all.